Welcome to the Daily News Network and you're on a mission with Jack Sears, where we explore with local business owners, nonprofits and organizations, how they're bringing their mission into reality. And today, we're going to be talking about flooring and we're going to be talking with Rusty Williams, who is the owner of Fantastic Floors. Welcome to the show, Rusty. It's good to be here. Great, yeah. So uh, tell us about Fantastic Floors. Uh, how long you've been in business and where are you guys located? Okay, so uh, Fantastic Floors has been in business for about 15 years now. Okay. We have one location over off Orange, uh, in Orange Park off 17. Okay. And we have another location in St. Augustine in St. John's County off of County Road 210. Okay, great. How's business going? Business is good. Business is good. We have some of the nicer design centers and uh, it's, uh, We've been growing, so mm -hmm. it's nice. When when you think about uh, you know running a business as an entrepreneur, as an owner, uh, any uh, lessons learned that you would share with someone who's contemplating taking that step? Uh, have some thick skin <laughs> and uh, be willing to work hard. Uh, thick skin and work hard. Yes, okay. Um, future look good for your business? It looks bright. We're really looking to expand. I opened that second location last year. I, oh, okay. I, I, I hope to open another one and have four to five locations over the next so six to eight years. Mm -hmm. Has this something you've always done, uh, the flooring business? I got into flooring just out of high school, yes, sir. Just out of high school. Yes, sir. How about that? Um, you have any interest outside of work? I, I think you're involved in the community and, mm. and you see a value in community service. Uh, let's chat about that if you don't mind. So. Uh, so actually my passion is my faith. I pastor a small Baptist church out in Green Cove Springs. Oh. And so we're currently in a building program. We got four acres uh, and hope to have a new facility by next year. Okay. So it's over by the fairgrounds um, and we've always kind of been in the middle of nowhere. But with the growth in Clay County, uh, we, expect, we expect a lot of homes and a lot of people around us. Oh, that's outstanding. Um, how long have you been doing the pastor work? So I've been pastoring Grace Missionary Baptist Church for about 11 years. 11 years. Yes, Amen sir. to that. How mm -hmm. about that? Um, what's the congregation's strength? Uh, so they're some of the best people in Clay County. Okay. Uh, go to our little church, and uh, they're, they're, my, they're my church family, and they're dear to my heart. Okay. What, what led you to, to do that kind of work, complimenting the, the, the fantastic floors? I think I know the answer, but I'm going to tee it up for the audience. There okay. you go. Uh, God, so God called me to preach when I was 19, and I had a heart for people. Uh -huh. And uh, so I was attending the church when the, the, preacher, uh, the preacher that was there, the pastor at the time, left. And I was kind of like next man up sort of thing. And uh, God called me there, and we've uh, we built a nice little work out there. It's been, it's been fun. It's been an adventure. Oh, that's great. So, um, any other things that you do outside of work and pastoring that uh, that you give back with? Yeah, faith, family. So, my sons uh, went to Fleming Island. They wrestled at a high level. I've coached. I've uh, I actually got a wall inside my Orange Park store says that says "Give where you live," and it's got all the baseball teams, wrestling programs, softball programs football teams over the years uh, where uh, we've sponsored and supported our, our local community. So um, that tees up the next question, excellent. Give where you live. Yeah, um, absolutely. Obviously, that is an operating principle at your business. Oh, yes, sir. It's very important to me. And, and, and would you say that most effective and successful entrepreneurs and business owners are they that way? They should be. They should uh -huh. be. I do, think, I do think there are a lot of them that way. Okay. Good. Yeah, uh, we've interviewed and, and had in here a lot of folks that, that balance work and community service and giving, and they see great value in it mm -hmm. because not only is it helping the community, but it's giving a sense of pride and ownership among the employee group that they're associated with. Yeah, what we like to say is like you don't go to Home Depot or Lowe's to go look for your son's sponsorship for his baseball team. You go to the local store. So what we expect, you know, we're family owned and operated. So what we expect in return is we'll support your T-ball team. But when it's time for somebody on that team to go looking for floors, how about just refer us and give us an opportunity to earn that business? Right. Yeah. And sometimes that's all you need is the opportunity. We right? feel we if we get the opportunity, we feel comfortable where we're at. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Well, listen, this is marvelous. You uh, you've been a marvelous guest and, and the business model that you have in Clay County and, and expanding is great. And the fact that uh, you are spending your time outside of work in ministry 
yeah. is uh, is kind of icing on the cake. I, I, it's it's truly my passion. I don't. I always tell people this. Flooring is how I make a living, uh, but preaching and pastoring and serving the Lord is my retirement program. Ah, there that's, you that's, go. That's, that's oh, that's, that's outstanding. Yeah, Great. Well, listen, how would, um, how would anybody who's watching in today, if they wanted to connect with Fantastic Flooring, and I guess they could also perhaps connect with your church as well, sure. how would they do that? My cell phone number is 904-838-6460. Uh, we have a website at fanfloors.com. We also have Instagram and Facebook. Uh, uh, our Park Avenue address is 1632 Park Avenue off of uh, 17 mm -hmm. in Orange Park and uh, 206 Ashorian Avenue uh, over off County Road 210. Okay. So they can find us at either location. Yeah, good. Well, I hope people turn there and uh, and give you a call and stop by and visit. You've Absolutely. been an outstanding guest on the show. So thanks for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Yeah. That's it, folks. That's the time we have here today on A Mission with Jack Sears. If you'd like to learn more about Rusty, his business, his walk with faith, and his church, uh, be sure to check out this interview and a host of other things that are happening in our community at thedailynewsnetwork.com. Until we get together next time, here's wishing you good health, much happiness, and remember, treat each other the way you'd like to be treated.